Hello and welcome everybody to a brand new No Man's Sky video. This will be the first crashed ship video for 2020, mainly sparked by the fact that uh, crashed ships have kind of reset in the living ship update. So uh, we need some new ones and uh, some friendly folk have uh, found some for us already. Today I'll be showing you two beautiful crashed exotic S-Class ships, which uh, you can see right here. These are both the ships I'll be showing you where to get and a few tips on uh, easily finding them as well as just fixing up or doing whatever you want to do with them regarding scrapping and so forth. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. This first one that we'll be visiting can be found at Sun, Sun, Moon, Face, Sun, Diplo, Y, Whale, Scarab, Boat, Rocket and Sun. Now, yes, yes, I know we've got a lot, of, we've got canon names for a lot of them now, but I just haven't learned those names yet. <laughs> Not enough to just trade them off super quickly anyway. Right, here we are, the right place found by Whistler. That is because he's a person who found this crash ship. He goes by Whistler-55 on Reddit, and uh, that's where I found it, on the No Man's Sky Coordinate Exchange which uh, I'd highly recommend you check out for finding your ships and stuff. It's really, really useful and awesome. Of course, his original post is linked down below. So we've got to go to minus 22.39 by plus 76.4. Now, I'm going to uh, skip ahead, but very, very brief basics are do the second out of the coordinates first, travel really high in the atmosphere to travel faster, and uh, make jumps uh, through sort of atmosphere jumps just to get around the planet to jump uh, big amounts of the cohorts. As luck would have it on PC, it is marked by a comm station, so anyone on Xbox or PS4 who uh, gets their first, uh, make sure if there isn't one there, or even if there is, just, I don't know, leave a thanks or whatever. This is on the planet Dingbea Otos. Uh, the the address I'll actually put on the screen when just throughout this will be the one to the correct planet, meaning basically the first glyph is different. And here we are. Check that little bad boy out. There it is, little uh, S-Class exotic. Nice, nice. Obviously you can't tell much about from the damage potential and the shield strength because of how they've changed the numbers, but I happen to have just checked in my save file for the stats and uh, yeah so the damage is 49.96 which is pretty much max uh, max damage bonus which is 50 on an exotic and the shield is 56 percent uh, which is almost the lowest but it can only go as high as 60 anyway it's between 55 and 60 for shields for an exotic. The hyperdrive, however, uh, this is kind of on the low end. Uh, the hyperdrive on an exotic like this is between 50 and 65, um, which is the same as living ships. And uh, this is 156, which is technically 55.28 bonus because it's 101 uh, with the multiplier on it. So, yeah, um, not bad, especially for free. And if you uh, just want it for scrap, then there it is. Not sure why it's showing us this though. It's giving me the completely wrong uh, thing. Unless because it's. Uh... Ah. So, yes, it looks can be deceiving on this particular one because uh, obviously the majority of it is actually underground. <laughs> like, a, like a true crash. If you want to scrap it, you'll probably just have to do the pulse engine, but nothing else. You can just then fly it up to the station or call another ship in. You can get it to spawn in the station stuff in various ways, but it's just it's simpler to just use a metal plating and a hermetic seal. I mean, it's a, it's a nothing thing. Quick look at it while it's flying. There we go. Not bad. Put me in a very weird viewing angle inside there. But uh, as you can see, this goes up, and this is where, how it should properly look when it's landed. And uh, those used to stick through the bottom of your freighter floor. I actually got rid of mine because of that. I assume it doesn't now because freighter are made way bigger, but um, I'd be very dubious. It's very strange. I don't know why it's got this weird... It's not putting me in the cockpit. Yeah, so HG, bit of a weird bug at the moment. It would seem that uh, 
this particular ship does not put you in the cockpit, it puts the camera in the wrong place. <laughs> Which is quite funny. It won't affect you if you're playing like this. In third person, it's fine. <laughs> and this next ship you can find. Of course, both of these are in Euclid, but even if you're in a completely different galaxy, you can get to Euclid using uh, the featured bases. Just go to one of them that is located in Euclid, or join the game with someone in Euclid, build a base in a system next over, and then, uh, yeah, claim, save, and you've got a base to teleport to in Euclid. So, uh, happy days. Then you can just walk, or, well, then you can just portal here. So the plant to this one, again, this is the address to the first plant system, so I'll likely put on screen uh, during the actual specific planetary address. But it's Sun, Sun, Scarab, Hex, Sun, Moon, Y, Rocket, Moon, Spiral, Bird, and the final one, Hex. Now, of course, one thing to note about these addresses, the, the system's correct. It's just the first glyph which determines the planet in the system, which is the one that would be different for the specific planet these ships are found on. This often happens when portal addresses are converted from uh, a galactic coordinate you find on uh, signal boosters. You can always tell because the first glyph is Sun, which is never the actual first glyph. It just defaults to the first glyph. Uh, anyway, so we're actually on the right planet. It's planet uh, E dash. This was found by Medic975 on uh, the coordinates exchange once more. Excellent find. This one is a beautiful little explorer, which uh, I'm actually a big fan of this type. So, uh, yeah, look forward to seeing it in person. Would appear, once again, this was found on PC, but don't worry, these are cross platform. Uh, you'll find the same crash ships in the same places on PS4 and Xbox. But uh, this has been noted. Excellentro. If you are on a platform that hasn't got the communication station, then you just simply need to go to minus 32.17 by plus 154.71. And uh, you'll find this crash site. Remember that's on planet E dash. Or A dish. Same thing. It's underwater, so uh, there's a little clue. If you're going towards a vast ocean, then you're probably going to the right place. Once you get here, just find a nearby uh, plot of land. We can already kind of see it underwater there. Should hopefully be able to land on here. Perfect. Let's go diving. I would suggest you have, uh, you should technology module upgrade, like uh, one of these, which mine isn't filled. There we go. Uh, if not, then just keep an eye, eye out as you're swimming towards it for kelp. These kelp sacks, if you interact with them, they'll uh, refill your oxygen bar. So, uh, good to know. Plus, we've got a little shelter there. So, this is the beautiful ship. Look at it. That's a really nice ship. This is actually one of my favourite designs of, ex uh, of exotics. They're just very cute and little... Yeah, they're just adorable. And uh, I've got a lovely teal, sort of enamel kind of looking one on my survival, which I'll have to uh, show you guys where I've got all my ships on survival at uh, some point soon, but yeah. If we look here, the uh, we can see the hyperdrive stat says 161.9. The actual bonus, because this is 101, the multiplied by the bonus, is uh, 60.869. So uh, it's close to 61% uh, hyperdrive bonus, which is definitely toward the best. The best is 165, but uh, that's not bad at all. Um, the damage potential, uh, you can't tell here, but... I from my save file it is 49.95% so again pretty much a max damage bonus on this one because the high stink goes 50. Shields are the same as the last one 56 it's actually 56.6 it's slightly better but um, yeah I mean it doesn't go that much higher anyway so 56 fine absolutely fine. Maneuverability can't really speak for unfortunately but uh, the colour's really nice it's got the nice silver trim Super nice. Thank you, Medic975, for uh, sharing this location with us. Um, now, when it comes to slots, same with both of them. The layouts don't really matter that much anymore because we can upgrade these slots. It can take this up to 48 slots for general and 21 for the tech. So uh, it costs a lot, but it'll cost you about 3.5 billion to take this up to full in both those slots if you just buy the slots but of course you can scrap other ships to get uh, modules to upgrade. 
I would suggest the buying the first bunch just because it's quite cheap at the start, but then it goes really expensive, so save your modules for the last few. If you want to, if you do want this and want to fix it up, then uh, for this stuff like paraffinium stuff and like paraffinium, pyrite, phosphorus, and chromatic metal, all that stuff, um, you can refine the majority of it. So uh, I would suggest taking a look at the refiner list on zaintor.com, which I've linked in the pinned comment, along with both the original posts for these two by Medic975 and Whistler55. I recommend you check them out and the recipe list. If you want nanites for tech, I recommend cooking, big cooking guide, I'll link that as well, as well as a cooking recipe list on the website. And if you want money, just a massive amount of money, you don't want to mess with modules, then I'd highly recommend my gigantic stasis device mega guide, which I'll also link. There's going to be a lot of links in that pinned comment. Always got to love the uh, gigantic ship purge of the ocean when you do that. Love it. Just in case anyone's curious, this one is fine in the cockpit, no bugs. I'm sure that the bug will be fixed super soon. So thank you for watching everybody, I hope you've enjoyed this video today. If you have, hit the like button and maybe share with your friends so they can get some uh, nice, free, quick exotics as well. If you want to get more involved in the community, we've got Discord linked in the pinned comment. If you want to support the channel other than sharing and so forth, then we've got a Patreon, Teespring, as well as uh, the YouTube memberships uh, via that join button just under the video. Everything linked in the pinned comment. Have an excellent day, folks, and thank you for joining.